Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture video series Introducing Grasshopper and Rhino. Now we're going to continue with our simple tower and in this um, video we're going to look at um, extracting data out of uh, the model. So one of the probably more useful uh, pieces of data would be the floor area and perhaps uh, later on we can work out what the total uh, gross floor area may be for this tower. Now there's several ways you can do that and uh, there's one way you can do it within um, the uh, basic tools of Grasshopper but um, Grasshopper being an open source um, community based um, application there's lots of um, additional tools that you can search and look up um, that will help you um, extend the functionality um, of Grasshopper. What we want to do is we want to get uh, the area of these different slabs. So we've created our tower and everything's coming out into this um, Brett canister that's uh, containing all of the, the outputs. Now what I'm going to do is to get uh, develop an area command for that so if we double click and go area and there's area through there and again if we control click it's in the surface um, analysis and we're going to plug in the geometry through here so it's calculated it's just that we can't actually see what's going on so if we pull up a panel here. So this is the area that's coming out and this is the centroid or the center of the area. So we only need the area in this instance. So we've got a bunch of, of numbers but they're all quite large so we need to sort of figure out what's going on and because if we look back here remember that we're working in millimeters um, through the, the Rhino file we have got millimeters by millimeters so we've got quite a large number so this is the area in millimeters squared so we need to just do a bit of maths to reduce that down so we'll div do a divider and we'll do a scaling so because we're doing millimeters by millimeters that's a thousand by a thousand so we're going to have to re uh, reduce this by one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if that will be the divider, we'll feed the area into there, and now the output should look a little bit more reasonable, something that we can understand. Although we're, we're working in millimeters, having the output in meters squared is by far a more useful um, output. So if we wanted to be a little bit uh, trickier, we could also put a rounding factor onto that. So if we double click and go round, and basically that will just truncate the um, integers off here and round it up or down. So if we input our list coming out from here, we've got um, the uh, number that's rounded. And there's a few other interesting um, variations on the rounding tool that um, might be interesting if you're trying to do a, a sorting or a listing um, function, so for brick walls or something like that. These, these functions become quite useful. So we plug that back in. It's rounded it up to three, four, five, six. And so we've got the area through there. Now that's partially useful but we want to actually be able to show this to a client or do something useful with it. Now to do that we can output the contents of or export the contents of this panel. So if we go onto the panel, click on the panel, right click and we can uh, stream the contents of this panel. So we click that and it will give us, if it'll open up a, a panel so we'll put this uh, into where we want it. So we can actually stream this as, as either text 
or if we want to uh, bring it into um, Excel, then we want to use this comrade separated value file. So we're going to do that, and we'll do call this basic um, CSV export, and we'll save that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is head over into Excel and we're going to try and find that file. So we'll just navigate through to our file through here. Basic export CSV and there you go we have a very simple table but the kind of the issue with that is that this number here as it varies so if uh, we wanted to, to add a total onto here or if we're going to change the actual profile of this um, slab then this is kind of a dead connection it's it's a single one-off one-way traffic so what um, there there is value in this, but perhaps um, a more sophisticated streaming and, and live updating uh, application like we we have in the TT toolbox would be more useful, and that's what we're going to show in the next video.